All right, what is up everybody? Welcome, I am back with another video. So let's just keep going. We are making our own game in Unreal Engine 5. It's gonna be multiplayer, it's gonna be combat based. So let's go. Uh, before we start, um, link in the description to my Patreon if you wanna support the project and get the project files. And let's get going. Bum, bum, bum. Um, in the last video, we set up this number over the head. And we can see that it's replicating and stuff. So let's uh, go ahead and make make an actual health bar instead. So, do, do, do. Combat system. In the combat system folder, I'm going to make a new folder called widgets. Uh, we're gonna make a blueprint. No, user interface widget blueprint. User widget uh, BP blueprint widget BPW uh, overhead health bar. Mm, I'm gonna add a canvas panel and a progress bar. Something like that. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna duplicate this. So there's two progress bars. One's gonna be back progress bar. So the back progress bar is behind. Front progress bar is gonna be the front one. And this is purely optional. If you just want one where it like snaps to the new, like if you take damage, it just snaps to the new one. But a lot of games nowadays have this damage indicator where it's like the first part of the health bar goes down quickly and the second part behind goes down slowly. So we're gonna try to recreate that. Um, so the front one, background image will be nothing so that will just be transparent for both of them and we're gonna set the first one to 0 0.7 the second one to 0 0.85 just so we can see the difference if you search for percent you can set the percentage here we're gonna this you have fill color and opacity here. We're gonna go set that to white and we're gonna work with the values up here instead. So the front progress bar, we're gonna change the tint to something red. And since I changed the since I changed the percentage, you can now see that the front one is a bit lower than the back one. And the back progress bar we can just keep like that. That's a nice color for now. And then we're gonna add an image. Put that behind them. And this is gonna act as the frame. So there we go. Something like that. And that's gonna be black. I'm gonna wrap this with a grid. Mm. I'm gonna wrap this with a uniform grid panel and size the content. Yeah, there we go. And fill vertically and horizontally, and the same for this, filled vertically and horizontally. And then we're gonna adjust this to fill. We're gonna select the background. We're gonna set the percentage of that to one. So we can see this is when it's full, right? And we can now take the background one and just adjust it so we get some frames there. We'll take this one. To 
two. And probably we're actually gonna get this one wrap with border. And we're gonna delete this image and this border will actually be the background instead. So we're gonna select it to set the border to be black. And now we can adjust the padding here instead to make it even. So two, now it's two on each side. And we can select the position. So there we have our progress bar. And we're gonna fill screen, set it to desired. There we go. So if we now go into our master character. And actually this overhead health bar is not necessary for our players. It's only gonna be on the... Um, NPCs, so we will go in here in the master NPC, add uh, widgets. It's going to be overhead health bar. We're going to change the space to screen. The widget class is going to be the overhead health bar. And we're gonna put it above the heads. And we can now delete this text render. It was in the character. There we go. Ah, actually, yeah, we need, since this is the on rep, I. Yeah, actually we want this because if it's PvP and stuff, we still want to see, like if you if you have, maybe you will be able to duel your players or something. So we might as well have an overhead health bar on everybody, and then it's just visible on whatever is your enemy, basically. Um, so copy this health bar from the NPC, put it in the master character instead. There we go. And from here, we're gonna get the overhead health bar. And we're gonna, yeah. Visibility, I'm gonna set it to hidden. And then we set it to visible here when something is damaged. And delete this and we're gonna go into our overhead health bar um, and we're gonna create a new function set percentage Actually, let's delete this and do it here for reasons. Add custom event. Update health. No, update percentage. We're gonna get the progress bar, the front one. We're gonna set percent. To the new percent. And we're just gonna do the front one for now. And this is the question here. Uh, we could just cast here because since it's set here anyway, 
Like whenever the characters are loaded, this is going to be loaded anyway, the overhead health bar, since it's hard coded to be this one. Uh, I could set this widget class to none and load it from a soft object reference at the start to not have a reference at all and would it be loaded in, but it's going to be loaded in like 99% of the time any times anyway, so we might as well cast here. Uh, get user widget object but if we really want to make sure that it because if I go to look I haven't cast it here anyway yet you see there's no cast now it's just this widget component but if I go to the master to the character and go into the size map it's 227 megabytes and you're gonna see that it has the health bar loaded in somewhere Do I need to? Why is that not appearing? Save all. Over the health bar. That's set to the. Maybe that doesn't load it. Size map. Can't I search? It should be here, but maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just blind. Okay, it doesn't appear here, so that's good. Okay, then we shouldn't cast. Uh, we have the BPI combat, so let's just create a function call update percent. The input's gonna be a float new percent new percent. Gonna go in here and we're gonna do a. We, so, in our overhead health bar, we need to add the combat interface. So, class settings, implemented interfaces, combat. And now, when that is implemented, we can do event call update percent. And it's gonna be update percentage, which is this function here. And now in the master character, we're gonna call update percent from the user widget object here. Not straight from this one. And the percentage is gonna be Since this is in the master character, it's now that maybe we actually should have shared details for some things because now I want to get the max health. We'll see, we're just gonna go do it like this now. I'm gonna make another variable called max health. That's not gonna be error notify. It's just gonna be replicated. So on the begin play here, we're also gonna get we're also gonna set max health. So we set current health and we set max health to the same. And in the rep notify, we can now get the max health. We're gonna divide the current health by the max health, and that's gonna be the new percentage. And let's see if that works. Yeah, and you can see it's updating on both of them. Uh, 
Well, we can also see it's completely off the health bar. So we go into the master character. We set this to something more reasonable. So if I go to world, The draw size, let's reduce that. Uh, size 250 by 25. 20, that's better. 250 by 20, so that's what we're gonna do for draw size 250 by 20. And it's very large. Especially when we go further away. So let's do 200. Yeah, let's do 200, that's good. We'll deal with the size later. Should put it in the middle, and there we go. We are now updating our health bar. So in the next one, we will make it the back the back side of it go down smoothly as well. That's gonna be it for this one. Um, yeah, as always, like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.